In this video, we're going to talk about the 2024 color of the year, Limitless. Now this is a paint color from PPG slash Deluxe, depending on your region. And it was recently crowned the color of the year for 2024. So in this video, I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it, but I'm also gonna give you a color palette that I put together based on this color. I'm James, the color guy from the paint people. And this of course is Color Quickie, where I give you the need to know information on a paint color, two trim color options that go really well with it, and then three color pairings to give you a free color palette. All it costs is a potential press of the like button. And maybe a subscribe if you haven't already. Because we put out a lot of videos every single week on painting and decorating and color theory as a whole. So let's get into the video. Limitless, interesting choice for color of the year. And that's primarily because what we've seen in the past and the last couple of years, a lot of paint companies are kind of doing similar things. They're moving in a giant colorful wave, but PPG kind of went a different direction altogether. 2024 seems to be the year of blue, but Limitless, not very blue at all. It's actually complementary to blue. If you can look at my color wheel right here, you can zoom in. Yellow is pretty much opposite to blue. And I think that was done by design, but we'll get to that a bit later. <laughs> Okay, so technical stuff on Limitless. As you can see on the PPG website, we have the LRV, which is 72. This is a very important number to consider because the light reflectance value tells us how light a color is based on how much light it reflects. 72 is kind of in that upper tier of colors, not quite a mid-tone anymore. This is a light color, but it has enough saturation where it won't feel like a white or an off-white. It is more of a light, creamy color. Creamy. So cream and beige. And what's cool is Limitless is described as having the essence of a neutral. It does sort of feel like a light version of tan leather, but because it is lighter, it feels creamier, a little more tinted towards the off-white side of things. And the undertones of yellow and orange are pretty prominent to me. I almost describe it as having a buttercream sort of feel to it. So even with the essence of a neutral, I call it a nearly neutral. This is not a color that I would necessarily recommend as a main color to put throughout your home, even though it is the color of the year. This is more of a secondary color to me where it could support an otherwise more neutral neutral, just because you need to be cautious of its undertones. They can be pretty energetic. Just test it up before you commit to it, is what I'm trying to say. What about some trim color options for it? Well, if you're painting your baseboards an off-white or a white, delicate white would be an amazing choice just because it's clean, it's bright. It's one of those no frills white paint colors that I really enjoy. It also gives you enough contrast between your walls and your baseboards if you're using Limitless on the walls. And that means your baseboards, they're gonna look nice and clean and they're just gonna pop, which is great. Now, what about a darker trim color? Maybe you wanted something a little bit more dramatic and punchy. I wanted to go with Up in Smoke for my dark trim color choice, just because I feel like pairing a kind of creamy yellow, which is maybe a little more traditional leaning with something like this, which is an earthy stone gray. I feel like that gives you a little bit of a what's old is new again kind of feel, a little bit of a contemporary touch with a dark gray rather than maybe a warmer kind of brown color trim. This just gives you a little more of a fresh feel for your trim. And it also goes awesome with delicate white if you wanted maybe lighter trim and then a darker door inside, awesome choice. Now let's get into some color pairings. So if you wanted to go with Limitless, if you appreciated that creamy sort of yellowy undertone, I wanted to give you another option that just feels a bit less saturated, even airier than that. And Purity would be my choice for the first color pairing, which is very much a lighter variation to Limitless. It has an 80 LRV, so much lighter, only about eight points darker than Delicate White, your white trim color. Because of that honey yellow that's present, it will still contrast nicely with that white trim. And as you can see in some of these photos, the color just feels softer overall. A little bit more passable as a main color as well. Assuming you just loved that sort of hue of that kind of golden yellow. But if you wanted something a little more complimentary, maybe even a little more blue leaning, dare I say, well, my second color pairing would be Geyser. So this is a 64 LRV blue green. A little bit of a minty fresh kind of feeling to it. And the reason I went with it was because blue, of course, the color of the year in other companies, but I wanted to go with a warmer undertoned bluey green just so it ties in a little bit more to Limitless. I didn't want to go too hot and cold here. And a 64 LRV color like Geyser gives you more flexibility in terms of darkness. It's not going to feel too dark. It has 
noticeable saturation, but it shouldn't feel too light or too dark in a number of situations. I think it's an awesome color, more of a secondary color, kind of like Limitless, but in a completely different direction more on that cool side of things. And the third color pairing is going to be the accent choice. This is very much an accent against Limitless, but maybe not so much of an accent when paired with Geyser, which is kind of the point here. Green Granite would be my third color pairing. And yes, this is another one of those bluey green colors, but a lot more of a deep, darker color. The LRV here is 28. So kind of in the bottom third of paint colors in terms of darkness. And when you think about the palette all together, or you can see it too, if you want, you have two yellow leaning colors and then two bluey greeny colors, all of varying levels of depth. And this means you can have a more monochromatic feel by having the yellows together and the blues and greens together, or you can kind of mix them together and have a bit of a complementary sort of feel, whether you want to pair the two darker colors together or maybe just even mix and match it for max contrast. A lot of cool options here. Let me know what you think. And also check out our Patreon if you want exclusive content every single Sunday. Our Prime members get to request their own personal mini color palettes every three months, which is super fun. We've already put out a bunch of them. Link in the description down below. And we have another video right over here for you.